here we have a MacBook Pro 13 inch 2012 uh, unibody model. Uh, it doesn't work on Wi Fi, so if we open the Wi Fi menu, as you can see, it says no hardware. And uh, we are gonna try something else, which is open the boot menu. So we turn it on while pressing on the Alt key, and uh, it's gonna show the boot menu. So here, if we open the Wi-Fi menu which is used for internet recovery uh, there is no Wi-Fi network showing up we know that it's a logic board issue not a Wi-Fi card issue so here we is the logic board here is the Wi-Fi card uh, since we tried another board another working board in this chassis and uh, Wi-Fi is working fine. I only plugged in the Wi-Fi card, HDD touchpad, display. And then this is board. Nothing else was needed for this uh, quick diagnostic. Okay, let's put the machine aside and uh, we are gonna do some quick testing on this logic board. Let me pull this board. Okay. In. We have our multimeter. What we are going to do is uh, do some testing, some voltage probing on the Wi Fi connector right here. So let's take a look at the board view. So here is our board. Let's switch to the other side. Our Wi Fi connector is right here. And we have a bunch of pins we can probe. So what we're interested in, first thing, is the supply wire for the Wi-Fi card. So TP3, UFI, underscore, WLAN, on all those pins right here. So if we switch back to the board, we can probe them right there. Uh, we are going to probe the voltage on our pins right here. So let's plug in the board. It's most likely turning on, so just a quick check. We are going to probe a CPU V core which is 0.9 volts, so it's turned on. And now for the voltage check. So here we, are, we have 3.3 volts on the Wi Fi power, right? So that's good. Next, next thing we can check are some signals so the reset signal for the Wi-Fi so this one should be 3.3 volts as well so on pin 4 so on pin 4 which is right here we have 2.3 volts as well. So, so far so good. Uh, there are a couple of other signals that we could check, like CLK REC, but I'm pretty sure this uh, requires the Wi Fi card to be plugged in. So, for now, we are gonna ignore that. And uh, we are gonna try another strategy. So, if we take a look at J3501 in the schematics, the J3501, so J3501 uh, is for Bluetooth and uh, airport, airport is the Wi-Fi. 
واي فاي از وركين اون ذا بي سي اي از بس ويف وان ديفرنشال بير فور كلوك وان ديفرنشال بير فور ايزر ريسيفينغ اند اور ترانسميتين ديتا سو ذا اوزر بير از رايت هير سو وات وي كان دو از تيك سم ديود مود ميرمنز تو جراوند ميبي There is a break in a line somewhere, or maybe we have an issue on the other side of those lines, which is the VCH. So we are going to probe uh, first the clock line. So just to quick check where this clock line goes. So yes, it's going directly to the PCH. And so point is the PCH in red. And uh, here we have the clock for the Wi-Fi going to the PCH. So we are going to measure right here in the connector pin 9 and pin 11. So pin 9 and pin 11. And I am not to ground to see if maybe we have a problem. So let's switch to the diode mode. We have unplugged the power. Uh, we are using the positive probe on ground and the negative probe on the line. So just because my positive probe has a better tip, I switch both probes. So my right probe is actually connected to the negative input of the mesh meter. And we are going to check. So pin 9 is somewhere here. We have 1, 3, 5, 7, 9. And nothing. So Nothing on this line, so, and pin, pin 11, nothing is up. We have ground right next to it, so we have 0 and 1. But both our clock lines, which are 9 and 11, show absolutely nothing with diode mode to ground. So there is probably a problem with the, the lines. So we are going to quickly check on another board which is working or less. So a diode mode right here. One, three, five, seven, nine. And we have point 31 on the first line and 11.41. So on the other board, those pins I'm not sure anything on diode mode to ground, so no voltage drop to ground. We are gonna follow the line, we just use the other side of the board to L3501. So on the schematics, L3501 is this in the draw. And on our board, on the other side, so if we look right here, it is this in the top. So we are going to check in resistance mode the resistance of the inductor between input and output. So what we are going to do is check if pin, one, pin 4 so has continuity to pin 3 and pin 1 has continuity to pin 2. So pin one, uh, pin one to pin two and pin four to pin three, pin one to pin two and pin four to pin three. So if we probe my probe that garbage, so we have no continuity 
pin, pin 1 and pin 2. No continuity between 4 and 3. Just to make sure it's indeed the default, we are going to compare with uh, our good board. And the good board we have 5 volts between 1 and 2. And 5 volts between 4 and 3. So definitely there is an issue with this inductor right here. Right here. So we are going to replace it. Okay, so we are going to take off this inductor and replace it with one from the donor board that we have right here. So this is the 2936. Uh, the inductor is right here, so the layout is a bit different, but it is the same. This one is a 3115. Okay, so now that the inductor is off, we are going to thin the pad with some fresh LED solder. Okay, let's add the rest a little bit of flux. So we are going to take this inductor and put it right here. And we are going to lower the airflow so that it doesn't fly away like the other one. And let's go. Okay, now that it's clean, we're gonna put it back into the machine and see if it works. So. of a MacBook. We're going to put the fan on the 
Redicando. Peguinho de simbolo. Agora o vídeo de bolo mora que tem que ser deixado aqui. Touchpad, the Wi-Fi cable, Android cable, LCD connector, we're gonna plug in the USB keyboard because it's easier so connecting with the internal keyboard. Okay. Let's get the Mac safe. Plug it in. Hold, hold. We are in the button new. And uh, what do we know? Wi-Fi is back. So we have uh, 2.5 gigahertz Wi-Fi and 2.4 there are two and this one is a 5 gigahertz. Uh, let's go into the OS to make sure we can connect to the internet. And it's gonna take a while. Because very, very, very slow in the kidneys. Okay, so Wi Fi networks are here. Let's connect to our network, this one. Okay. The Wi-Fi is connected. Try to open the browser. Okay, so Firefox didn't want to work, so here we are in Safari, and uh, yeah, it's working. Loading, loading the website. Like it should. So Wi Fi is safe. And now we are going to reassemble the machine properly, put it through our testing procedure, and there we go.